My name is Arlita James, Sales Manager for WSOC TV here in Charlotte. I've been in media for 12 years. I've been with Cox Media for four. I'm Robert Wendt, and I've been in the business 16 years, um, coming up on my eighth anniversary here at CMG. Yeah, the genesis of it really came from the success we had with the auto study in the, in the prior year. And so we were looking for a new category to target, and home services, well, it was abundantly clear that was to be the category. Jeff and Mike were instrumental in con putting us in contact with NARI. Uh, WSB had done a similar project with Home Services and they partnered with NARI in Atlanta. So we thought it'd be a wise move to have them involved, uh, further give us credential in terms of what we were doing and have them partner with us. We were able to have, um, go to their meetings, their monthly meetings. We were able to go to the Electrolux headquarters and present the research uh, to all of them and then talk to them prior to the research coming out to get their involvement. It was great for adding credibility. Uh, when we did visit their membership um, luncheons and dinners and whatnot, uh, we were able to invite them and explain the study and what it was. So it gave us, um, it, w it opened doors for us that weren't previously opened. What we really wanted to do in order to cre create an effective home services category study, instead of us creating it in a vacuum or in having the questions um, developed, we went to the source. One of the keys to the success that I, in my opinion, was the long-term planning. This was a six to eight month planning process. Um, as we began to do design the questionnaire and talk to experts, uh, we knew we needed an extra boost in credibility to open doors that were currently closed. And we heard through uh, Jeff and Mike that we might have an opportunity to partner with Nary. And that gave us access to people, like I said earlier, that we wouldn't have had access to otherwise. We just said, the target is a thousand people. What would you ask a thousand people if you had the opportunity? Anything about your industry. And naturally, the, the top things that of, were concerned to them started to come up. And a lot of them had similar responses. We created two different events. So our event was February 9th. And that was strategic as well, because what we wanted to do is have these events prior to the home shows. The timing of the appointments too were, um, how is it gonna least impact their work day? Because they do have certain hours that uh, are just incredibly busy for them and we didn't want this to disrupt their potential to make money. Yeah, so we had great food, great beverages. We had prizes that we gave away. Um, after the event, when we um, gathered around the entire sales team, we gave folks uh, prizes for most appointments set, uh, prizes for the people that had the most RSVPs, prizes for folks that had the most show up factor. And it was a great, great event and everyone had a lot of fun and we generated a lot of revenue. Yes, yeah, so we learned a lot from our automotive study in the prior year, and we wanted to apply those best practices to this same study. So we did go out to their locations and ask them to help us write these questions of a home services technician, and we would list them out. Facial hair, tattoos, clean cut, male, female, whatever it might be. Um, it could be what are the top attributes? What do you feel the top attributes are for your category? What do you want to be known as? Quality, integrity, honesty, price, warranties, and on down the line. And I explained to them that these attributes would then be ranked by these, these thousand respondents and that it would help them have actionable intelligence when we came back. It was an automatic, a valid business reason. We came in to ask them questions about their business, find out exactly what they wanted to know. And it was an automatic way to even go back in and share the results with them. And some of them were really surprised. We had one HVC owner that was really concerned and about facial hair. 
And what we learned is when we got the research back is typically homeowners that were having um, technicians into their home wasn't terribly concerned about facial hair. It was more of a picadillo of his. This owner said, this is wonderful, but I'm not going to be able to present it like you did. So he had all of his people come in. He bought them pizzas and uh, ice cream, and it was like a social event. And he introduced us and told his crew what we were doing. And so he had kind of a miniature breakout session with his staff members. And we had sales managers there, AEs there, assistants. Well, there was a lot of people there. It was a lot of fun. Yes, and, and uh, it, it also, and it's, it's really done in a clever way. Uh, yeah. Jeff and Mike were instrumental in participating and getting on calls with us and coming to the market various times and, of course, at the event that we had in February. They, they definitely brought a lot of uh, national perspective to the, the current climate at the time, um, positioning what homeowners were doing across the country and reminding these local clients that that's happening here, too, why this is even more important to understand the dynamics of the category. And even today, we're you know over a year later since that event. Robert, you're still you still have AEs mm -hmm. coming asking about the research at least twice a week. Yeah, we still use the slides from that research, even though it was done a while ago now. Um, the attributes is probably the slide we use the most. Is people want quality products, honesty, integrity from these providers? They all are quick to go to price. We remind them that the the creative is just as important as the placement, placement of the schedule. So we remind them to work with our creative services team to build a spot that aligns with the, the attributes of the category that a thousand people told us. Just as a reminder, with focus comes revenue.